What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and you guys already know the deal. We're hopping back on that rank double ladder and ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a great video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves an Evelta team alongside with Life Orb Lapras and Assault Vest Metagross. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support that's been going out across this channel. But this team right here, I saw it and I was like, yo, it's looking amazing. I know we just showed off a Evelta team probably like within the past 10 days. But this one looked amazing, and I really want to show this all one off as well, considering we haven't used Metagross in a while, and Lapras. And it has a really cool Raichu setup, which I'm going to talk about in just a little bit. But rocking out in our front spot, we got Yabelta over here with Dark Aurora as his ability. And we have that weakness policy as his item, so if we can get that proc, we can roll out here, Dynamax him, and pretty much sweep the match. We got Dark Pulse on him, Oblivion Wing, and then our coverage move is going to be Heat Wave, and our final move is Protect. Right next to him is this Raichu with Lightning Rod and Focus Sash. And I absolutely love this thing's moveset, considering it's rocking Eerie Impulse and Charm on it. Two moves that can drop attack, so one, Eerie Impulse will drop Special Attack, and Charm will drop physical attack both by two stages so we can basically take out any pokemon we want just by dropping their attack significantly it's amazing absolutely love this pokemon and i cannot wait to show it off in battle we're probably going to be bringing them in most of the battles it also has volt switch so it can pivot out and fake out so we can get that first turn flinch middle left we have metagross a very strong pokemon with that assault fest so it's actually a lot tankier up, up against special attacking pokemon we have the clear body so our stats can't be changed and then the move set of iron head stopping cantrum thunder punch and rock slide very very strong pokemon you guys know how amazing it, this guy is but middle right we have incineroar another support mon going on this team with intimidate then the passion berry usually rocking the citrus berry but this one's rocking the passion berry i kind of like it it's got the normal move set though of flare blitz parting shot taunt and fake out Bottom left corner is going to be our Life Orb Pokemon with the Lapras Water Absorb, so maybe we can get some HP back making a read onto a Water Hit. Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Thunder, and Protect. We can set up Roar Bells, we can set Weather, this thing can do it all. And then in the final spot, we have Amoongus in that bottom right corner. Our last support mod with Clear Smog, Rage Powder, Sport, and Protect, Regenerator Ability, and the Cobra Berry item. But one thing I really like about this Amoongus is it's rocking Clear Smog. So if one of his Pokemon is getting out of control with stat boost and all that, I'm just going to change it up, hit that Clear Smog, reset the battle, and try to get back into it. But guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked up letter and try to get some wins with the Javelta, Lapras, and Metagross team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a heavy meta team, and you guys already know it. It's Tornadus and Kyogre team, alongside with Zapdos, Metagross, Urshfu, and Robin. This team looks really, really tough. Hopefully, we can pick up a victory in battle number one. But guys, forgot to mention question of the day. What is your guys' favorite items to use in online battles? For me, I absolutely love using the Focus Sash because, obviously, it's great. It comes up clutch. No Pokemon can get one hit with it. But I also love using the Life Orb. Everyone loves the Life Orb. Get that extra damage boost and get rolling from there. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below. What's your guys' favorite items to use in that online battle? But who should I go into? How should I lead this one? I think I choose a great lead here. Look at that lightning rod. Um, I could totally eerie impulse a lot of these Pokemon. Or charm. Either way. Metagross could be a tough Pokemon. Man. Tough little customer there. Really could be tough. I could go Raichu into Lapras. But say he goes rain. I mean, I have that lightning rod, which is wonderful. So I kind of counteract on both of those. We don't really need Incineroar here. I don't think Incineroar really comes in clutch. I'm going to bring Yvelta in that back end. And then in the final spot... Do I go Amoongus just as a back end support mon? Or do I go Metagross? Metagross is pretty nice. I say we go Metagross as a final mon. Let's get Rocket here. We're going to get get that Raichu and Lapras. I really do like that combo considering it protects my Lapras from any lightning moves. We can get rolling from there. I don't think he's going to lead the real boom. And if he does, I could fake it out and just drop a G Max Resonance on it. Get that Aurora Bell, get the KO, and roll from there. A pretty strong combo. Pretty strong lead here for the boy. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, we just used the Yavelta team, but I saw this one, I was like, dude, I gotta use this one. I gotta get rolling with this one. But a lot of Pokemon content coming coming you guys' way for this channel. Considering we don't have any like side games to play up until Pokemon Snap comes out, which is April 30th. I thought it came out sooner, but it's all good. We'll just play some Pokemon Sword and Shield up until that releases, I'm sure you guys don't mind. But yeah, I cannot wait for Pokemon Snap. That game's gonna be tons of fun for this channel. It's gonna be a nice like sit back, relax, and it's gonna be cool to check out the graphics and all that. But he's going to lead Urshifu and Zapdos, which I think I'm safe to go into a fake out onto Urshifu. I might just Resonance over onto... Hmm. Over on Zapdos. I don't see this thing being policy. I see it more so being Life Orb. Yeah, I can see uh, the Zapdos being Life Orb. But we're going to Dynamax. We're going to drop a Resonance. We're going to try to get off this War Bell, get our team rolling. And we're going to fake out on the Urshifu. And then I can always Charm it. I can always Charm it. 
Did like some damage down on that onto that thing. But there we go. Big boy coming out here. But usually what I like to do with Lapras is I like to get that Ward Bell set up and then get that Weather Rolling for myself. Really depends how the play is going, but if I have like control of the battle, I will end up trying to get that weather going for me. But what's called is going to detect. The Zephyrus is going to protect. But that's totally fine. We, we just want to get off this reward rail. I might actually drop another resonance. Depending on what he does. They drop this. Not going to do a lot of damage, but still. We get off that reward rail, which I really, really like. Going to neglect a lot of damage coming through. And his Urshfu is going to flinch his turn. Which is lovely. Which is lovely. We get that for five turns. Um, Do I charm? I think I might charm now. I think I might charm and potentially bolt switch out. Now, what's charm? Charm right now, and then do I just drop another resonance? Let's see, who can he swap into? Let's go to his Pokemans. Let's go to his Pokemans. I don't think he really. He could swap into Kyogre. Maybe a power move. Hmm. Definitely charming over on you. I'm not dealing with him. I'm just gonna drop another resonance. Get that super effective damage. Try to make sure his Zapdos goes down. Maybe he won't switch. Usually the simple plays will win you Pokemon battles. Because I know plenty of battles where I start overthinking and trying to make a hard read where it actually ends up losing me to battle. So he is going to end up Dynamaxing Zapdos. Or show me Urshfu. That would be lovely. going to Dynamax Zapdos. And we might be able to pick up KO here with the Resonance. We might be able to pick it up. See now if I did not go into that Resonance on this thing, I would have been pretty upset. I would have been really upset. We might be able to pick up the KO on this thing. Let's see what happens here. Here's my charm. We charming, baby. Hopefully he's going for lightning. And not realizing I have lightning rod on this thing. We drop that thing. Oh, he does. Oh my god, he does. He does it. <laughs> the lightning rod coming up clutch. Let's go. Special attack boost. This thing's charmed. Not going to do a lot of damage to us. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Gets a crit. Dude, that thing's minus two. This thing is a minus two. What you mean? <laughs> This thing's minus two. Can we pick up the KO? We do, but that thing's minus two. And we have a war bell set up, and that thing does how much damage? Like 400? That's pretty absurd. Not even gonna lie. Life Form's gonna take us out. Yo, that's nuts. That is nuts. I didn't like that one bit. I thought it was gonna do like maybe 100 damage at most. At most. Um, I could bring out Yvelta. Or I could just go safely onto the Metagross. Hmm. What does Jeans want to go into? I just want to go your belts here. Where do I want to go here? Who can he bring out? I wish I can take like a look at his Pokemon right now. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. So we had the Urshifu. Take a look. He has a Roll Boom, the Tornasa. I can see Kyogre coming out here. Kyogre could be scary. Or then I could just pivot with a Volt Switch. We're gonna swap into Yvelta here. We are, he's gonna swap into Tornados, which is lovely. I think I'm just gonna Volt Switch. He might Tailwind here. I don't want to protect considering. Considering what's it called? Did we get a hit off on this uh Urshu yet? We did not. Oh we did. I did want to Volt Switch out. This is exactly what I'm gonna do on the Tornado slot. Did we say Oblivion Wing KOs? I think it would. I think it does. Let's see what happens here. I think we're going to see a Tailwind popping off here. And then he has Kyogre in that back end. Oh, this one's going to be close. This one's going to be real close. But dude, my Lapras really went down to that? That much? Did not see that coming. I know it's base 120. I know it's Stab. He could be Choice Bandit. He could totally be Choice Bandit. Which he probably is. Let's see. Can you go for another close combat? He is. Go over to Raichu. Yvelta. We eat that up all day. Like, see how much damage that did? Compared to what it was on the Lapras, his defense drops. We're going to be able to pivot out here with a Volt Switch. He has that Wakam Berry. It's all good. I'm, I just need a pivot. I just need a pivot to get back out here in order to get another fake out later in the match. And we're going to be able to take this thing out with Oblivion Wing, which is lovely, but still tough. He has the Kai Ogre. It's Kai Ogre. I don't like it one bit. He has a Kai Ogre coming in here with a Tailwind. He's going to be rocking out. No Dynamaxes, though. There's my Oblivion Wing. Gonna send that. Bang, that's gonna KO. He's dropping minus two on defense. And we get some HP back, which is nice. So we're gonna go back to full HP. Okay, so we know Kyogre's coming out here. And I might protect one Mon. Oh no. Kinda scary. 
This is kind of scary. We know how, how much damage Kyrie can actually do. And I'm going to need that fake out in order to take this thing out. I might drop a... I might protect my Yvelta. And go into a Thunder Punch with the, my Metagross. Because I do have that Assault Vest, which is really, really nice. I'd rather do damage on him. I'm going to protect you this turn. And I could potentially Dark Pulse and try to get a flinch. But dude, the Tailwind is helping him out tremendously. Yeah, let's protect him. Try to get off a, a Thunder Punch so we can get some damage down. And maybe the next turn he cannot go for a Water Spout. Because Water Spout is going to be the move that's going to do the most damage. When he's at full HP. It's basically Eruption for Water. That's exactly what it is. Did you guys see how deadly Eruption is in a Heat? With, with Torkoal. Now Water Spout is 10 times better. Considering Kyogre is way faster. And his stats are better. Protects can come out here. We get in after it. We still have an Aurora Bell, don't we? Hurricane's gonna come out here. We get the block. So good good protect here. There's a water spout coming. Water spout is coming. We're gonna get the block. Um Medicare should be able to eat this up. No props. I guess in the rain, I guess full damage. Yeah. Got that Aurora Bell and we have the uh the soul vest. So this Thunder Punch gonna roll out here. Bang. Doing some great damage. Great damage from us. Um say we just thunder punch again. We go for that Thunder Punch. I say we double up into that thing. I go for an Oblivion Wing. I guess uh, get off as much damage as we possibly can because we know the Hurricane's coming back out at us. But I need my Raichu out here. I need one of our Pokemon to survive and Raichu to get out here. So say say Yveltus survives and Metagross goes down or vice versa. We should be thriving here pretty well. Actually, I'd rather Metagross go down. Yveltus is a bit faster and then I can fake out whoever I really want to. Paul's going to come out here. Oh, it's taunting me. I'm dark type. That was, that, was a, that was a tough taunt. I'm surprised he didn't go into the hurricane. Just didn't want me protecting again. Metagross does go down. I really like I really like this turn. I really like this turn. We're gonna get some HP back. Hopefully we can pick up the KO here. He went for the taunt on me. But we're dark type. The prank doesn't work. Ooh, we don't pick up the KO. We don't pick up the KO, but I get a fake out. This is why I want to pivot out with the Raichu. We get him back in. We have first turn priority. Kyro can protect. He can protect here. But I think we're fine. We go for a fake out. And we go for an oblivion wing over onto him. If he protects, hey, he protects. We're still going to get off some nice damage. We're going to get some more HP back all around. And we might be able to KO this Tornadus. Lovely, lovely, lovely. With the pivot on the Raichu, dude. I love this Pokemon. I love this Raichu set so much. But dude, if we can pick up a win in this battle... This just shows how powerful this team is. We're not Kyogre's one of the best teams in the meta right now. Same thing with the Zassian team. Zassian might be the best restricted mod in my opinion. After seeing it in a while. But Kyogre does protect. Kinda saw that coming. We have the we have the uh, put the fake out on him. Paul's gonna come out here. He's gonna taunt my Raichu. Good thing we're just going for attacking moves now on. Rough taunt for him. I thought he was gonna go into a uh do a hurricane again. I just wanna taunt my Pokemon. Oblivion Wing does not pick up the KO. That's rough, but Kyogre's not going to be able to take us out, I don't think. Tailwind does peter out, so he's probably going to Tailwind up. Um, I think I'm going to go safe play here by taking you out with the Volt Switch and then dropping in Oblivion Wing. Or rather go Dark Pulse. I think that has a better accuracy. No, they both have the same amount of accuracy. But we're going to go in with this slot. We're going to go in with the Tailwind again. Try to get that Kyogre. Kyogre needs a double kill, but I have a Focus Sash on my Raichu, and I don't seem taking him out of you, though, with the Norge Pulse. Unless he gets a crit. Unless he gets a crit. Let's see. Does not take out my Yavelta and my Sash pops. So no crit for him, which is lovely. Volt Switch is going to come out here. Bang, take you out. And we need Dark Pulse hit. It's 100% accuracy, so we just need him not to dodge and move. Which happens sometimes, but I think we should be fine here. Dark Pulse comes through. There it is. We pick up the KO, and we get ourselves a win in battle number one. Awesome battle. Showed off the team probably to its fullest potential. Got the Raichu in there. Got the Yavelta. Metagross got some loving. And then, who else did we bring? I totally forget, but still, we got that win. We start off 1-0. Second battle's looking like a tough one for us. I'm looking at this opponent's team, and he's got the Mewtwo and DD expanding force combo here, and I don't really know a way to counter this one up. Kind of just does work on my team. I think we gotta go Raichu here. Maybe try to get off an eerie impulse roll from there, because if he goes in with the Ndidi, we cannot get the uh We cannot get the fake out rolling. But I think that Mewtwo might outspeed me. I don't like this. I don't like this. We might go Metagross. Metagross might be a play as an early lead. You can't fake out. Yeah, for a fact, I'm gonna go Lapras. Lapras could be decent. Um, Mugus wouldn't really do anything. 
There's a lot of special attackers. I definitely want Raichu up in here. I'm gonna lead Raichu. I think Lapras may be in. Might just end up going the same squad. A lot of uh, special attackers here. A lot of a lot of special attackers. So we definitely want to bring in our. Uh, definitely want to bring in our Metagross. I might lead my Metagross here. Bring Lapras in the back and Yvelta in the back end as well, and keep that same team just different order here. I think that's gonna be play. But this one's gonna be really tough for us. It really is. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I saw it. And I was like, dude, how am I really gonna like counteract this combo here? We're gonna have to get after it and try to get ourselves uh, maybe some eerie impulses off on, on some of these Pokemon. Cause that's what thinks I can't pick out if he goes in DD and uh, Mewtwo. He got that second surge, and he doesn't. So we, we could have went into our boys. We could have went Lapras here. Lapras could have been a nice little lead here. But Raichu and Metagross is gonna pop out here, which I really really like this combo up against these two. I can get a fake out off. I can roll from there. Um, we could stop him from going a War Veil. We could do that. I honestly rather fake you out. That's big damage. Like a War Veil? Okay, that's fine. I go here and I might go Stomping Tantrum. I might just KO the Darm. Do I KO the Darm or do I KO the a War Veil? Hmm. I'm not looking at the Darmanitan. I'm gonna get rid of the Darmanitan. I'm not liking it one bit. He can set up an Aurora Veil. Because eventually I think we're gonna Dynamax our Lapras and set up one of our own. He's gonna. Oh. Oh, baby! He's gonna go in DD, aren't you? Yeah. But still, I'll take that all day. Fake out's not gonna happen. And this could be bad. This could be bad. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if it was getting weird. Fake out's not gonna be able to pop out. And he's Dynamax and Darm? Okay. He's Dynamax and Darm. Alright, I see you. Okay, it's a pretty cool place. So no Aurora Veil getting off here. I thought we were gonna have a like a free, free KO, amazing start to the to this uh battle. But he went into NDD, so fake out's not gonna pop, and he ends up Dynamaxing. So he's throwing me a curveball. Throw me a big old curveball. Like terrain protects, and he's gonna go into a flare. I want to ride you, okay. I want to ride you. I, I dig this. I dig this. Our sash is gonna pop. And I'm just gonna charm that thing next turn. It's gonna be play all day. I'm just gonna charm it next turn. Drop that thing's physical attack to minus two. And never. Ooh, wow. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, do we outspeed? I think we just pivot with a bolt switch. If we can. And then we just drop a stomping tantrum. I want I wanted to charm, but that thing's so low. If Stomping Tantrum doesn't uh hit both. We'll go rock slide then. We'll go rock slide. Just in case he goes for follow me, which I can totally see happen. Let's see what happens here. Follow me's coming out. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm gonna swap my Raichu out here. And I'm gonna get out my Lapras. Because he's gotta be going for a uh He's gotta be going for a uh, what's it called? A flare to take me out. I have any double hitting moves. I do have heat wave. And will you belt out speed? What you belt the speed? 166. I might save my lap percent. Just pop a heat wave. Because Raichu's 168. So I don't see why 166 would not out speed. I don't think this thing's scarfed. So we're gonna get out your belt. Here's a flare. Oh no, he's quaking. What smart cookie? This special defense boost. Let me eat. We eat. That's lovely. That is lovely. Oh dang, we should have got out Lapras. I thought he was gonna flare and KO me. Not a smart cooking turn. But just get a special defense boost, which is which was kinda smart. Yo, hit the Darmantan. Hit the Darmantan. Thank you. Thank you. I would have said, yo, if that just missed the Darmantan, I, I don't mind that it missed it indeed. We, we use that to get rid of the, the Darmantan and the follow me. That's the only reason we use it, so I'm cool with that turn. He has no Dynamax. We still have our Lapras in the back with a Life Orb. We still have a Raichu with a Fake Out. Metagross is here for another turn. And he's going to go Nine Tails to set up that Aurora Bell. I'm cool with that. I'm going to try to drop off an Iron Head if I can. Um, we go for a Dark Pulse too, which I probably will. Which I probably will go for a Dark Pulse over on you. And then at least, uh, I'm probably going to try to go for a Rock Slide. I can see him going for that Aurora Bell now. 
I'm gonna go for a rock slide and maybe try to get a flinch. Try to get off some damage in the end. Actually, he's gonna outspeed me, so it really didn't matter. Probably should just iron head it into that indie slot. But I could see Dark Pulse soon picking up its uh picking up its strength here and taking out this indie. I'm loving this team. This team all around looking really, really nice. The Raichu I absolutely love. Okay, so you protect that. I'm cool with that. You're gonna, you're gonna pop in a war bell. Yep, there's the war bell. But yeah, that something about that Raichu, I'm loving it in this in this team. I'm bringing him in every battle. He's just a, a must. He's just a must have. He sets up the bail, the lovely little bail. Protects my Dark Pulse and my Rock Slide. But my Rock Slide does connect over onto this slot. So we take off this thing Sash. There's 100%. You're not playing alone in Nine Tails without Sashes. That's a fact. Metagross will survive another turn. Awesome. Awesome. Lovely. And we're going to drop another Pulse. Because I can't. And I am going to Iron Head over on this slot. See what happens. We're going to tell Indeedee. Hey, Indeedee. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Get out of here. I'm sick of this Pokemon. In my game, this is my game. I own it. This is mine. This is all Gene's game. I created it. We can't lose. We cannot lose. <laughs> he's going to withdraw the Indeedee again. And he's going to swap into my Lutic. I'm, I'm cool with that. I still have a Raichu in the backup. Blizzard is going to pop. It's going to take out my Metagross. The Velta is going to be able to eat up decently well, considering Alola and I tells. Doesn't really hit too hard. And there goes my policy. Ooh, I forgot about that. Do I Dynamax or Yvelts now? This thing isn't a War Veil. But I think I might bring out Lapras here and just Dynamax it. See what happens here. Dark Pulse is going to come through. I'm going to do some decent damage. Do we're in a War Veil? I do like that. Buffett's coming around. Um, this thing is eating up all on a Citrus Berry. So how about battles today? Solid battles today. First battle was dope. This one's going really, really well. We still have a Raichu. I think we saved that Raichu. Actually, where do we get out Raichu now? Hmm. He still has Indeedee. Did we take out a Pokemon? I think we did. Yeah, we took out his Darm. So Indeedee is his final mod. Surge is still rolling, so... Going to Lapras. Surge is still rolling, so Raichu is not to play. I'm gonna go into Lapras here. Do I set up the bail? I think he outs no, we will not outspeed that, but I do want to get some HP back, so I'm gonna do that. Well, oh, I can't just go for a straight free strike. Nah, I'm gonna Dynamax, I'm getting Lapras in. I'm just gonna lightning. I don't think I don't think we set up the bail. I said we just lighting. The mile tick is probably posing the biggest threat. I had to guess it has freeze dry on it as well. All right, mile tick and rock freeze dry. Well, most of them roll out with the with ice beam, scald, maybe recover coil or protect. Like those five moves right there, are pretty much what a mile tick should be. But we still have our Dynamax. He does not, which is huge. I'm gonna drop a Blizzard. Your belt it goes down to that. It's tough news. That's tough news. I thought he was going to be able to survive one more shot. Velta goes down. We can't get back out. Uh, our Raichu in the Lightning. And we should be faster than most of you guys. The Volt Switch should be able to take that out. And I should be able to get some work rolling from here. Let's see what this thing's rolling. Is he rolling free try? I can see a Lolan. Or who who sent the Blizzard? I think it goes for a Mirror Coat. Hey! Oh, chill on me. A lot of damage for a Mirror Coat. So, Volt Switch will take that out. Um... This one's gonna be rather close. Rather close. Go here. Again, bolt switch into you. Take you out. I'm just gonna go for another. I'm just gonna go for a landing over here. I, th I feel like damage is gonna be better than uh, setting up a roar bell right now. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one, ladies and gents. This one can't come down to us losing it. I think a lone and nine is gonna outspeed me. He's gonna withdraw the Milo. Which I might have been smart. If you maybe think I'm going for a fake out, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I knew you had that indie in back end. Here's my bolt switch. Doing some damage on that. A little bit. And Blizzard comes out here. Oh my lord, this one this one's close. This one's real close. So we switch the terrain back to our terrain. He can follow me and go for another mirror coat. But I think mirror coat's only when we do damage to him. 
We do not pick up the KO. Ooh, ooh, I don't like this one bit. Oh, we're gonna lose this one. These guys got some bulky mon. His Aurora Veil is clutching up. His Aurora Veil is really clutching up. We should have probably Dynamax earlier in the match or maybe led the Lapras and get that Aurora Veil off for us. But we're gonna fight and we are gonna set up an Aurora Veil right now. <laughs> um. Probably follow me. He's gonna come in here. I'm gonna try to take him out with this. I could see a follow me. Or he might swap back. Probably not. He's probably just gonna try to do as much damage as he can. He does not have his terrain anymore because we did switch it back. Let's see. Let's see if Lapras can clutch. But solid first two battles, even if we lose this one. First battle, we dominated. And this one, we played really, really well in. But this guy is just. He just played just a little bit better. Dazzling Gleam's gonna come through. Lapras gonna eat. Ooh. I think Lapras might be slowest on the whole field. Healing Wish comes through. That guy just secured it. That guy just secured it. Kills himself. Will Res oh wait, Resonance comes out beforehand. But it might heal up that Milo tech. We do have Freeze Dry Rock, I'm saying. And we do have an Aurora Veil. Now hold up, he, he might have just screwed himself. But I think Healing Wish will come out later for that Milo tech, right? We do have a Veil. We are Veiling. Love a little veil. Now the question is, oh, their veil wears off. Can we eat up a shot from this thing? And I think I outspeed him. This one's gonna be close. He gets a healing wish. Smart play. Lose back up the full HP. Okay. So no war veil. Now the real question is, does a freeze dry do more damage than this? It is stab. It is stab. And it has a higher percentage hitting. I'd rather go into this. Maybe we can get a crit. Maybe something can happen. Maybe he can miss an attack. I think we outspeed this thing, right? We do. There here goes this. Come on. Give it to me. We do not. We need a scene to miss. We need a scene to miss. Only way. Miss! No, nope, he Miracles us. And that's GG's. Dude, Mirko coming up clutch. I did not expect him to be rocking that move. But still, great battle there. Healing Wish does come up clutch. And we get a great second battle. Go one and one. We can hop into our third and look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Sandstorm Exedral team. Alongside with Zacian, Togekiss, Swampert, and Ferrothorn. Very strong team here. He's got the Sandstorm combo that's always broken. It's always really, really strong. Then he has Zacian, one of the best Pokemon in the game right now. So we got to watch out for that one. I think Incineroar is going to be really, really well here. He has a few physical attackers, and so we can get that drop. So I'm probably going to lead him. I think it's a safe lead to actually get into. I'm going to go Incineroar, and I might just go in with Raichu. Be able to charm, roll off from there, and get going. Definitely get that Lapras going in there. Need, not, need my Life Orb Pokemon. And then in the final spot, Yavelta? Or Metagross. I think Metagross might be a little bit better here. I'm trying to think. Javelta gets dumped on by a lot of these guys. Yeah, we're going to go Metagross. We're going to go Metagross here. Javelta's just not going to be able to do well up against the uh, the Zacian, the extra or the team. So, get him out of here. Sorry, Javelta. You're, you're not playing. But that's like, why Zacian so good? Is he can basically go in up against any Pokemon. And he always has that attack boost. His speed is phenomenal. Hits like an absolute truck. And he has a signature move that's double damage to Dynamax Bonds. It's crazy. It is crazy. I don't know why he's so loud in there. Just imagine if you could Dynamax him. It'd be game over. Everybody would be using him and the game wouldn't be fun at all. But sitting at 1 and 1. I think we get this. I think we can pick this one up. I like the battles that we had. I do like the battles that we had. Let's show off Lapras pretty, pretty well. But still, yo, that healing wish was mad clutch. It really was. It really was. But guys, also let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think I should have went for a thunder on that last turn. That could that could have been the play. Um, I could see him Dynamaxing. Exigil? Like, who should I fake out here? Or should I just charm? I might just get in with charms. Intimidate's gonna pop out here. I think we're just gonna start getting in with charms here. Attack drops are huge. I could fake out with Incineroar. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to fake out the Tyrantar. Because I can see him maybe drop an EQ and protect him. And I'm going to charm up on the actual, if I can. While I have my Sash. Because I don't want to uh, run a fake out with my Raichu. And then potentially uh, just get hit. And the buff is taking me out after my Sash. So I'd rather get off a charm before we do go out. Or if we do go out. That's my thought process. That is the Gene's thought process. Gene's thought process. Brought to you by G.
jeans himself. <laughs> Zio goes in there. Hopefully, this fake out gets off. Hopefully, he doesn't Dynamax with Titar. But he's thinking heavy. He's like, yo, I'm my S1 on both. And Cinnamon was a great lead. It was a great lead. I knew I had to bring up my boy. Bringing in physical attackers like this. And he doesn't have Dynamax, so we get off a nice, lovely little fake out there. And he's going to go for an EQ. That's fine. Sash is going to pop. Oh, we don't even need Sash. Charm's going to come out here. That's huge. So I really do like where we're sitting. We charm up on that thing. He did do some damage to his uh, Tyrantar. Buff is going to take out my Raichu. That's totally fine. I'm going to get out my Lapras. I'm going to get out my Lapras and start getting after that uh, that Tyranitar. That's going to be the play. Raichu's. Or Raichu's out. Excadrill's minus three. Tyranitar's minus one. I really do like where we're sitting. We're going to change up this weather here. I'll have to go home. Um, I'm going to Flare Blitz here. If we can uh, take you out. I am going to uh, Geyser. Just because I want this weather gone. See, I could... We're going to a resonance, but I'd rather just uh, make sure this uh, time anti goes out. Let's change up this weather and get rolling from here. The weather. The weather. I like where we're sitting. I don't mind that Raichu went down. I got that charm off. That was my exact thought process. Was this. The buffets are going to take me out. But I'd rather not fake out. I'd rather get off a charm there and actually get some more value out of my Raichu before he dies. Which was perfectly well executed by your boy. By your boy! Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because if Incineroar gets off a shot here, it's going to do some big damage on the x -key. And he... Oh. Oh, who are you Dynamaxing? Ew, this, ew. I don't like this. Who is it? Is it Exodrill? Oh. You poor, poor soul. What are you doing? I can't watch. I cannot watch. You poor soul. What is going on? This, this is a Master Ball tier battle. What are you doing? <laughs> Dynamax and a minus three X control? This thing's special attacking. Then, then he's got me on the ropes. Then I, then I take everything back. But right now, dude, I, I can't watch. <laughs> I can't. But how'd you make it to Master Ball tier if this thing's physical attacking and you're Dynamaxing this? Let's see what happens here. He's protecting. That's fine. We'll change up this weather. He's going to drop a Quake. Go over to my Lapis. Or are you going in the instant or? I still my KO my instant or. Let's see. It does. That's fine. I just don't like that Dynamax choice. Nice protect me. I'll call that. I'll give you that. I guess a special defense boost. Do my Pokemon down. Um, I don't think we're picking up the KO on this thing now that it's protected. I think I might drop a Resonance now or next turn. Let's see what happens here. We change up that weather, which I love. We say, hey, yo, stand soon. Get out of my face. Change up that Sandstorm. And he can't quake again. He can't quick again. But Metagross can come out here. Oh, what should I do here? What shall I do? Probably, he might still win this game. Why is he Dynamax that? This just really throws me off. Let's go Iron Head here. But Geyser again? And Resonance the next turn? Let's say we do Geyser over on the XE. We got the rain rolling. Need that stab. Get that boost. We need to get rid of some Pokemon right now. Before he starts taking out me. The Tyranitar can't protect him unless he gets off a lucky protect. That'd be absurd. That'd be absurd. Oh, but that Dynamax choice, man. Just, I, don't, I just don't like it. Minus three. I feel, like, I feel like he would be, like, guaranteed his victory if he didn't Dynamax him on. But he's going to go for another Quake. He's boosting his special defense, which is smart. See, like, we're just eating these shots up all day. I'll be able to eat up another Max Quake from him. But we are going to uh, drop this Tyranitar here. No problem. Get him out of my face. But the Tyranitar is gone. Um, how much damage can we do here? I want to get off of Resonance next turn. That's going to be my play. Here's my Geyser. How much damage can we do this thing? It's plus two on special defense. But we got Stab, Life Orb, and Rain. Lovely. We get that. We get that thing down in the Sash. That's still a lot of damage. And I think we're rolling pretty well here because he's not going to be able to take out my Metagross. But I might just drop a Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide might be the play. Rock Slide into a Roar Bell setup and try to get Lapras falling here. Who is going to be your next mod? He's going to be. Game. It's going to be game. <laughs> it is going to be game. 
I have to drop the rock slide. And I, oh. It's G's, man. It's GG's. I want this roar veil up. But I think we have to go into this geyser. I think we have to go into the geyser. That's gonna be my call. That is gonna be my call, man. Go into this geyser. Even if the bike comes through. Game, dude. The game's doing me dirty. How much damage this thing's gonna do? Bruh. Take on up against Sassians, man. They're too good. They're too good. That KO's too. Wow, it gets a high roll on it. It's a high roll on it. That lucky biscuit. That's G's. GG's, man. Gets a high roll on that. Wow, man. He does a terrible dynamics and we still end up losing. Tough battle. Tough battle. I knew this one was going to be tough all around. He had a strong team rolling out for himself. That is uh, going to go down with some light orb damage. And we're just going to run this one. We're not letting my Pokemon die out here. We're not letting my Pokemon die out. Not letting it happen. But yeah, one and two for this team. I didn't think we played bad at all. I didn't think we played too too bad. I guess that third battle kind of kind of got the upper hand on us. We only got one KO, but the first two battles were lovely. Went one and two. Got to show off this team probably to its fullest potential, which is awesome. I think I'm gonna use a Zassian team in the next video. That thing is just so overpowering right now. I feel like if you're not using it, you're losing to it at this point. But I absolutely love this team all around. The Raichu's moveset was amazing. I love the Eerie Impulse, the Charm, so we can get the attack drops. Then we have the Fake Out and the Volt Switch for the Pivot. We also had the Yabelta doing some big work all around with the Lapras and Metagross alongside of it to pick up some KOs and be our Dynamax Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.